Hello friends, welcome to today's video. For anyone new to the channel, my name is Lee, also known as Osiris. Today we've got something a little bit different. We have had a package back from Ace Grading. As you can probably tell in the thumbnail, I sent some cards away to Ace to get graded, uh, just to try them out. They're a new company, obviously, not new new, but pretty new and they do some pretty nice custom slabs and uh, I've heard good things about them got lots of friends that have graded with them before so today we're gonna crack this open check out the grades that's not a big grading order just a little one it's just a bunch of cards I've had sitting around that I've wanted to grade for a while and um, some cards from celebrations and then one card from brilliant stars that I've wanted to get graded so I thought as they do amazing custom uh, labels and things like that it's probably a nice way to just try them out and get some nice labels printed for the collection so i'm going to crack this open but it's like a not a not very suitable knife definitely a kitchen knife should have probably prepared a little bit more okay so let's have a look at the box if we can do this on camera this be nice to see how it is presented very nice very nice nice tissue here Ooh, and a little box inside a big box. I like the tissue. I always like the nice printed tissue. It's quite nice. Okay, so uh, Randolph is behind this, and I'm pretty sure some, some of the guys from Graded Gem used them before. So I would highly recommend them. And uh, Randolph obviously has an amazing Pokemon collection anyway. Um, and uh, I'm going to just try and open this up and do this so we don't see the grades of the cards. So I think there should be seven cards here in total altogether. Excuse me if I'm doing this as well, because I'm just like, I'm, I'm normally uh, don't do card openings and stuff like this. So I have to kind of set everything up every time I do anything like this. But rather than me opening this just as it comes, like tonight it arrived, rather than me sitting opening it and doing it by myself, I thought I'll share it with everyone and kind of give my opinion on Ace grading as well comes all nicely wrapped uh protected everything like that so as you can see here they are it's um first appearances slabs feel really nice i'm not gonna lie the slabs feel super nice so we'll just get straight into it then i think there are so there are three there's two of with celebrations i've got two charizards two venusaurs two blastoise all with the um the kind of the ace grade and the the signature label that they offer um and then we've got a charizard alt art from brilliant stars as well so that is what we've got uh hoping for tens in all of them as you normally do but not expecting to get tens across the board we'll see what we get so here is the first one put them to the side and we'll see, like I say, the slabs feel super nice compared to a lot of the other grading companies I've tried. Just the aesthetic feel of them. They feel solid, feel nice, look nice as well. So first one, here we go, is... Oh, there we go, there we go, here we go. Amazing, Charizard, the Alt Art V Special Art. And it is a Gem Mint 10. That is incredible, there we go. That is amazing. So what a beautiful card and like i say it does really feel amazing it looks amazing i'm like way more impressed with these slabs than i thought i would be um like i say i've graded with a bunch of other companies before psa cgc um and a lot of the other uk grading companies as well and these feel these feel the best slabs i think that i've felt way nicer than psa way nicer than cgc they just feel good and they feel good quality and I'm not blowing smoke up uh, Ace Graydon's backside but I, I'm giving you my genuine genuine opinion on these but that is a great one for us to start with cannot ask for anything more moving on to our next one so these next six will all be from celebrations so let's see what we can get first one is mint nine blastoise now these are going to be a bit more difficult to get in the tens I feel but nine is still not bad as long as I get like three nines, I would be happy with that. Again, looks nice. And the, the, the custom logos are amazing, are incredible. I think that's one of the big draws about the company as well, offering these custom logos. So there is the Blastoise. Next up, this might be a Charizard, might be a Venusaur, might be another Blastoise. We'll see what we've got. Is a Gem Mint 10 for the Blastoise. Let's go, let's go. Awesome. So we do get the Gem Mint 10 in the Blastoise. This one is the Gem Mint 10. Um, 
like I was saying, I was expecting hopefully to get tens in them. I think the the ones that I picked out to send that were ready to go off to grade were decent quality. So um, very happy with this one. So that is amazing. Very happy with that indeed. So that's another 10 there and the 10 pile. We've got a nine pile here. Move on to our next one. So we've had our two Blastoise. We've got two Venusaurs and then two Charizards. So hoping that we're saving the Charizards to last. I could actually take a sneak peek let's see these are venusaurs next so the charizards will be last which is pretty fitting so next one is a venusaur from celebrations as well and it is gemin 10 yes here we go come on ace coming out banging these tens if we get a gemin 10 in the charizard then we've got a full collection of gemin 10s which is amazing that, that that's i realistically what i wanted for my, for my collection so very very happy with that indeed and again you can see that like custom logo label here um the artwork's amazing so whoever they've got doing it they're doing a great job and like i said the slabs feel amazing so whew, gotta breathe gotta breathe gotta breathe here we go right next one it's going to be the other Venusaur. Be nice if we got a 10, but because we've got the, the 9 and the Blastoise, you don't really wish for 9s very much, but I like to have everything kind of like the sets of things matching. So hopefully we can get a 9. I won't complain if we get a 10, but it is a 9. There we go. They must have known. So we're matching that Blastoise now. Got another 9. So if we can get a set of 10s and a set of 9s, that'll be amazing. Just hoping now that we don't get too nines in the charizards here which are the two remaining cards left um so we'll go with one first if it's a genuine 10 then 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 i'm very happy and this has been an absolutely amazing amazing submission so just looking at the back of the card here it's pretty flawless i think the only thing it would let it down maybe would be um maybe the centering on the front possibly would let it down but i i i genuinely think like these are all pulled by myself so i i think they do have a chance at a 10. right moment of truth charizard gem in 10 come on let's see it gem in 10 there we go come on there we go we've actually got the full set of the blastoise the venusaur and the charizard gem in 10s I am such a happy boy right now, like unbelievably happy boy, gem in tens across the board. Um, yeah, I don't know what to say, that's amazing. That is more than what I expected. Uh, amazing. And uh, they look fantastic. They look amazing, don't they? So they stack really nice as well. So they go on the 10 pile. We've got one more left for this submission. Like I say, not a very long video today, but very exciting one. And I'm pleased to just share it with you guys. So. If we get the nine here, that would be amazing. Then I'll have a full set of tens, a full set of nines, but I probably would say, let's see. Centering's worse on this one for sure. It's thicker on the top, thicker on the side. The corners are pretty good condition. Like I say, I pulled this myself. There's no, no blemishes that I can see, but you know, I'm not a grader, so I can't, you know, what I say I see is not always what, what the graders will see. Um, so I guess let's see what it is. I'd expect this one, if anything, to be maybe a nine, maybe a 10 though. Uh, so let's, let's go for it. Charizard, final one. Come on, give me the 10. Oh, there's a nine. <laughs> there's a nine, it's Finn though, it's perfect. I get that set of nines, get that set of tens, and I cannot be sad with that. Um, I don't know what, what's let this one down. Probably the centering, like I say, it's way thicker on the top there. I don't know if there's any blemishes on it. There could be blemishes. I can't see anything though. Um, but the cases are super nice. They look great. Um, and yeah, I need to stop scratching it, like putting finger marks all over them. But yeah, really nice. Um, the only thing I would say is that you can kind of see the back, through the back of the card, you can kind of get an idea, which, you know what, I don't mind if you're doing these sort of videos, it's quite good to be able to kind of tell. I didn't notice until like, I think the Venusaur, where you could kind of see the, 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 the art of this card through the, the back, but I don't really mind it too much because then it allows you to kind of guess what the card is. So you can, you can do this without having to turn it over like this and then, and then reveal it, you know what I mean? So they are the submissions. So I, I'm absolutely ecstatic with them. I mean, can't really ask for very more than a set of tens and a set of nines. And then the special art as well, the Charizard special art, which was one of my favorite cards.
one of my favorite modern cards, this one. I really, I really do love it. So I think all in all, I'll definitely be grading with Ace again. Um, and uh, the submissions, like I say, the cases feel absolutely incredible. They feel solid, so solid. I'm so surprised with how good they feel. I honestly am. Um, and yeah, that is, that is my take on them. So hopefully, if you're from the UK, and you're wondering about trying them out, I would say give them a try, give them a try. We'll just send in some cards. Like I say, these are just cards that I had sitting around uh, waiting to be graded. Um, and I kind of don't really want to send stuff to PSA at the minute, and I haven't done for a long time. So I think I might have found my next best thing, which the, honestly, I would, I would say they feel better than PSA slabs. They honestly do. They're the nicest slabs I felt, I think. The next best ones I would say would be like, if you're looking for graded slabs that feel solid are the only graded slabs. But again, they feel, they don't feel as nice aesthetically. They don't feel as nice. These definitely feel way better. So yeah, there we go. Thanks for tuning in everyone. I hope you've enjoyed today's video. It has been a short one. It's a bit different from stuff that we normally put out on the channel. But like I say, rather than me sitting in my room by myself, opening these and going crazy and, figuring out and seeing and seeing what these are maybe it's useful for you to see my thoughts on the grading company and is grading in general and having a look at some of the the new bits to my collection that i'm adding more modern stuff at the minute so thanks for tuning in let me know down below what your thoughts are on the grading have you tried this out what are your thoughts on them but uh thanks for taking the time to come by to the channel if you're into pokemon if you're new here check out our other stuff we do a lot of different things on the channel those locks news and guides and vg content as well so uh do hit the subscribe button if you're interested and it would be much appreciated so until next time friends take care of yourselves Bye bye